news now shocking allegations against a Klein Kane high school teacher. She is accused of trafficking students along with her son. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live with the facts we have so far about this troubling case. Jessica. Yeah, we've learned this teacher was arrested just before five this evening at Klein Kane High School, taken to the district police department and then brought here to the Harris County Jail. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says so far there are three teen victims, ages 15, 16 and 17, all female students and runaways. He says more students have already come forward, though, saying she tried to recruit them as well into prostitution. Tonight, disturbing allegations against a Klein ISD teacher. Kedria Grigsby now charged with three counts of child trafficking and three counts of compelling prostitution. The 42 year old, a cosmetology teacher at Klein Kane High School. According to Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, investigators believe she recruited troubled teens from local high schools by offering them a place to stay. And she did it, he said alongside her son, 21 year old Roger McGee, who is also under arrest. Klein Kane's principal tonight sent a message to families notifying them of the arrest, clearly stunned by the allegations. Quote, let us be clear, any behavior harming children is deplorable. And appealing to parents, quote, please speak to your children about this matter. And if you have information, please report it to Klein ISD police. The district has not disclosed how long she's been a teacher there, but according to Klein Kane's online cosmetology course information, she runs the program. Building people up and watching them soar is her passion, a slide says, also sharing several family photos. The school says she will never be allowed at any Klein ISD schools again. With potentially more victims, more charges are possible. Welcome back, you guys, to Jay LaRone Presents, where we talk about facts, foolishness, and black female effery. In today's video, as you can see, there's been another incident in the Houston area where there's a teacher and her son has been brought up on sex trafficking charges. Now, we're going to take a look at this video from um, Cornell X. If you guys don't remember, in a previous video, he went in on this teacher in the Houston area, which was an elementary school teacher, and she was in the classroom making X-rated videos, basically, and got in trouble for that. And again, um, I don't believe that she's been fired. I think she resigned. But in this case, the, this teacher here was doing this for over a year, and the, the school knew about it, but yet they let her continue to teach. So let's go ahead and get into more of this video and listen to Quanell X as he talks about it. And, of course, he's going to be hilarious as he was in the last one, all right? So you guys, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, share. That helps the channel grow. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. We have to be honest and tell the truth. This is one of the most horrendous stories we have ever had to deal with in my history as an activist. We're talking about a teacher, a trusted servant teacher on a high school campus recruiting prostitutes from her students to work for her son as their pimp. This teacher, Miss Grisby, was allowed to remain on this campus after it was brought to the school administrator's attention that this was taking place in February of 23. This was brought to their attention, but the same administrators, instead of thoroughly investigating the complaint, they retaliated against the teacher who brought it to their attention. When I spoke with the district the other day, I said, how could you not know or tell the parents about all of this? They swore for God that they did not know. They swore for God that they had no information about this until law enforcement called them and say, we're gonna arrest Miss Grisby today. Well, I say to Klein, Kane administrators, you a damn lie. We got the proof. Where's the dog? Open it up. Open it up. Let me show these lying snakes here at this school. And we want all the parents to see this. Here's a complaint 
back in February 23, a sworn statement by the teacher that named Miss Grisby, that named what law enforcement brought to her attention. Law enforcement went to her house about her daughter, who was one of the victims, and she came the next day and informed the school of what was happening in detail in a statement about the prostitution ring. Who's the teacher that was involved and the young man's name that was involved? And the school district took a statement in the office with the principal and the district representative. And now you lying snakes want to tell the public that you did have, you had no idea about Miss Grisby. Oh no, that's a lie. We got it right here. We got text messages where she's texting back and forth with school administrators talking about what she brought to their attention. But yet they did nothing. The principal should be terminated. And I would say to the police chief, why they never brought it to your attention? It was brought to their attention. We got the documents. It was brought to their attention in detail in February of 23. Why they didn't do a duty, brother, to speak to you as police chief? You should do your job now and start indicting these officials at this school for failure to notify. They didn't notify law enforcement and they did not notify the parents. And as parents, they had a right to know that their children were a part of a prostitution ring. And you left the teacher after the report was given, after the case number with Harris County Sheriff's Department was given. You left that teacher on this campus to a few days ago. She was allowed to remain for a few days ago. This don't pass the smell test. All of y'all should be fired. Well, they always say the chicken's gonna come home to roost. So back in November of 2022, Roger, which is the son of Ms. Grisby, was arrested, okay? This information was brought to the district by this former teacher back on February 21st, 2023, okay? So when this teacher brought it to Ms. Nicole Payton, uh, Shayna Jobert Go ahead. and Robert Cabal Call the names. Uh, was who she spoke to on that campus on February 21st, 2023. Carrie Evo, E L V E, is one who took the statement on February 21st, 2023. Miss Davis is who came to the campus and called the principal as well as this former teacher in to either for her to demand to resign or to be terminated because she blew the whistle on Ms. Grisby because her daughter was involved. This, this same parent reached out to me, this parent slash teacher reached out to me back in 2023 because when her daughter was caught in the hotel back in 2022, the daughter had charges on her. And so she ended up getting legal counsel. So then when she got the legal counsel, then her daughter was no longer in trouble. They found out that the daughter was the victim. Okay, so then, so when we go from there, we got emails in <laughs> reference to after the whistle was blown, then we got retaliation. Back in February 24th, 2023, that was sent. Okay, so this email was sent to Carrie E L V E L V, which is with Klein ISD. Name the date. On February 24th, 2023, at 11:05 a.m., talking about new concerns. Okay, then it was brought with that response was that they were unable to meet with this teacher when she was trying to state the concerns and also provided evidence about what was going on. But about remember, February 23rd is when she reported. She reported on February 23rd to district officials. And on February 24th, they were talking about having a meeting with her. You understand? A secondary meeting. So I just cannot wait since the district officials are here. Y'all are here, right? Are, are y'all here? Our cat got your tongue now. So I can't wait for you all to come on up here. 
and tell us oh. what you've been telling to the public but that you did not know about this. But wait a minute. But then it was another email that was sent on February 21st, which was the very first email. February 21st, 2023 at 523 p.m. by the former teacher where it states evidence of allegations. The, the former teacher provided evidence of the text messages that this young man who is now locked up in Harris County that was sending to her directly, threatening her. So this was also sent to Miss Carrie LV on February 21st, 2023. And this teacher asked to be remained anonymous. We're gonna step out of the way now and let the district respond. Excuse us. Yeah, let us get over here. Are, are y'all coming? We want y'all to talk. Y'all not coming? But wait a minute. Didn't you and I talk? Didn't we talk? Didn't you tell me you all didn't know nothing about this? You told me that, sir. He probably did. No, 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 no. You told me, sir, that you all knew nothing about this. I demand you apologize to the parents because you all did know. You told me a lie and you told the media a lie that you didn't know anything about this. How could you embarrass the district and embarrass parents with a lie like that? And you left a pimp. You left a sex trafficking pimp of a teacher on campus from February 23rd to April 24th in 2024. No, man, y'all got the answer for this. The lies must come to an end now. Right now. So we'll take questions from y'all since the cat got their tongue. They don't want to talk all of a sudden now. What would you like to hear from the district as far as, I, I know that Quanell, you said that you guys want accountability here. They need to wipe the administration clean. Fire the principal and every district official and representative who knew about this and did not notify the parents and did not pull that teacher off campus. For them to have that sensitive information, police reports, sworn statements, they left that teacher on campus when details was given about her involvement and what she was doing. I want to see them all fired. And then I want to see those who should be charged with failure to report, charged with failure to report. But that is a state law. And you said this former teacher who um, reported this to not only the sheriff's office, but to the district. She at the time wanted to remain anonymous, but she, she did bring it to the district's attention. Yes. What was going on? And they told, they talked to Ms. Grisby. Sure did. And they had the nerve to tell that woman who reported it. And then her son tried to retaliate against the teacher who blew the whistle. And that's when she made the terroristic threat report and had the text messages of Miss Grisby's son threatening her. Hit a short again. Short again. This is this is the threatening text messages after the district blew her cover to Miss Grisby and she told her son, Man, look here, Chief. I'm sorry, Chief. Man, what the hell is going on over here, brother? This sounds like something from Barney Fife. This is crazy. Well, sir, guess what, though? You don't have to ask me. He's right next to you. She's right there. Why don't you ask them? They do speak English. Ask them. There's a police chief for the district. Ask him. Did you know, sir? Did you know, chief? Did you know about all of this? Oh, no, all of a sudden, nobody, want, nobody got nothing to say now. Well, brother, start putting handcuffs on these people yes. for failure to report because it embarrasses your office mm -hmm. for that to be going on on campus and detailed information given and you all not even conduct an independent investigation based on the allegations of students being prostituted. Nah, man. And not even so much as that, not even so much as that, even when you get any form of allegation, in general, period. That teacher was supposed to have been removed from this campus on administrative leave right. pending an investigation. That's just like when you're dealing with children in CPS. When you get a call or an allegation, they'll tell you in a minute to remove the child from the home in order to conduct the investigation. That teacher should not still have had access to children with these type of level of uh, allegations. They left period. a wolf in the chicken's coop. Mm. That's what they did. 
It's unbelievable. In my years of activism, three decades, I ain't never seen nothing like this. These people knew. Who's protecting the kids? These people knew. And they did nothing. And then had the nerve to come and lie to the public. We had no idea until the sheriff notified us and they were going to arrest her. That's a lie. It's a lie. We got the documents to prove it. We got the emails back and forth with district officials and the teacher. Man, this is criminal. It's a shame. Next question. What exactly is in there? Uh, how many people oh, we're going to let you take pictures of all of it. When you get back to uh, the newsroom, y'all can go through. Just describe the what, what, what we have people go ahead, dog. Okay, so what we have, we have the exchange between the former teacher and the district, um, who was basically blowing the whistle on what was actually going on. Then we have information with the text messages from the person that is in Harris County who was trafficking those children but to, uh, as far as we're retaliating against the... Um, uh, the former school teacher. So we have emails between the district officials and this former teacher. So it's not like that they did not know because they did. Mm -hmm. And this is what this evidence showed that this information was already known. How did this, I guess, end with the former teacher after she filed the complaint and, and she They told her to either resign or be or terminated. They, they told her to either resign or be terminated. And she's working now in another district. She's in another district now. Was she fired from the district? She, was, she resigned. She resigned. She did what they, she did the ultimatum that they gave her. Either you resign or. Unreal. Or you'll be terminated. Unreal. Can, can somebody tell us a little bit about how the, the allegations against the teacher, like what exactly her role was? We know her son was trafficking. What about her? Like what role did she play in this? Well, the mama slash teacher, Miss Grisby, was the recruiter and she was a saleswoman. Wow. She was a part of the promotional team to make her son appear like he could make a ship sell on dry land to young immature girls. Runaways. And she tricked them, manipulated them, and then put them in contact with her son to be pimped and prostituted. Man. So she was the liaison, mm -hmm. the promoter. She and was the facilitator. Hotel, and put like put them in motels and stuff. Man, this is crazy. This is this is unreal. They had a tight operation. She get motel rooms mm. for students. Runaways. So they get. Oh man, this is crazy. Hey, Dr. Massey, you said this is your district. Uh, you were... Yeah, I feel some kind of way about it because this is my district. My children attend school in this district. Okay, and I really feel some type of way about it because at the end of the day, our children all deserve a right to be in a school district where they are safe and where they are protected. And as a parent, we deserve the right to know. If we have some sleaze balls that's in the school district, we need to know about it. Right. And we need to know so we know how we need to move with our children and how we need to move forward. You know, because this human trafficking stuff is real. We've seen this in real life and in real time. I own a foster adoption agency. I have human trafficking victims in my agency. I go around this state dealing with human trafficking. This is nothing that's, that's a joke. This is serious. And for them not to take this seriously, this is a step level higher than a child being bullied. We're talking about children being trafficked, a billion dollar business. Yeah. We supposed to know about this. This is one of the highest in the We are in the hub of human trafficking right here. I know damn well I got a teenage daughter. I will have a hissy fit. My daughter was in the dog ring. Baby, I've been put my finger in this ground and told it to turn this whole thing upside down. I don't think so. My tax dollars pay here. I'm supposed to know. Do we know I pay high taxes too. Does she have a bond? Like, what's her current status right now? You know, like well, we heard that she was in court this morning. What her condition, what her bond is, and conditions of bond, I'm not sure about that. The the former teacher, um, she feels vindicated at this point right now, but the daughter is still going through some emotional issues right now but um she's also seeking legal counsel because she was retaliated against for being a whistleblower and she got she got an open closed case if you ask me but what's so painful she reported this in february of 23 long time gave them details and they left that wolf in here on campus 
continuing to be a teacher until April of 2024. That's you can't phantom the level of incompetence, ignorance, ignorance, and negligence by district officials. It's beyond belief to some degree. But we got the documents to prove it. Well, you know, this is what happens when you try to cover stuff up. You know what I mean? See, you have to shine the light like, like on a roach in the kitchen. You gotta shine that light on it. And that's what has happened. What's y'all's final message to school officials and to district officials? Would you like to say to them? We've already said what we want from district officials. But let me say to the parents, if I was a parent of a student at this school, I'd raise holy hell to clean house. If I was a parent of of my child went to this school, ain't nowhere in hell the principal would still be the principal or anybody else in that damn administrative team that knew about this. And I would be demanding an investigation by the district police department for failure to report child abuse. Thank you all for your time. Thank you for your presence. We appreciate it. Maybe they'll say something to you now. So, yeah. As you guys can see at the end, I, I just let it run. I just want y'all to hear what, what, what Quanell X had to say and his team. But, yeah, it seems like these schools are not really giving a, a damn <laughs> pretty much about what's going on, you know, in, 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 the, in the school system or in these schools at all, man. You have teachers, you know, in elementary schools making, you know, XX videos. You know what I'm saying? And then now you got this, and in both instances, the schools knew about it, and yet they did nothing. They let this one with this lady and her son go on for a year before they even did anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's crazy. Somebody needs to be held accountable, man. So you guys, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Once again, it's your boy Jay LaRon with Jay LaRon Presents. You guys, please be good to yourself by all means. Let's be good to one another. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.